In this lesson, we're going to examine cloud-native applications. Now, a cloud-native application is a new way of building and deploying software that leverages cloud computing infrastructure and principles. These cloud-native applications are designed to be scalable, resilient, and flexible, and they're typically built using containers and microservices. So let's first define what a cloud-native application and its components are. Cloud-native applications are designed to run on cloud infrastructure. Cloud-native applications are used to build highly scalable, resilient, and flexible applications that can be deployed on cloud infrastructure to take advantage of the elasticity and scalability of the cloud and make it easier to scale your applications up and down as needed to meet your changing demands. This makes it possible to run the applications that are highly available, even when faced with high traffic volumes or hardware failures. Additionally, cloud-native applications are designed to be agile and flexible, and this makes it easier to deploy updates and changes more quickly and more efficiently. Cloud-native applications are usually going to be built using containers and microservices. Now, containers are a lightweight form of virtualization that allows applications to run in an isolated environment. These containers are considered to be lightweight, portable, and self-sufficient, and it makes them well-suited for microservices. Containers allow developers to package an application and its dependencies into a single unit, making it easier to move the application between the different environments. This allows for a more efficient and consistent deployment process and makes it easier to scale and manage the applications in a cloud environment. Additionally, containers provide a consistent runtime environment, which helps in avoiding the issues that arise due to the differences in dependencies and configurations. This is because cloud service providers like Azure and AWS are going to manage the underlying infrastructure of the containers for your organization. And this makes containers an excellent choice for developing cloud-native applications. Microservices, on the other hand, are a way of breaking down a monolithic or single large program or application into these smaller independent services that can be deployed and managed separately. Microservices allow each service to be deployed and scaled separately based on your organization's requirements. Now, there are several advantages to using cloud-native applications, including scalability, resilience, flexibility, and cost savings. Cloud-native applications are designed to be scalable, which makes it easier to increase capacity as needed. This will help to ensure the applications remain responsive and available even when faced with higher traffic volumes. Cloud-native applications are also built to be resilient with features, such as automatic failover and self-healing capabilities. This can help to ensure that the applications remain available even if you're faced with hardware failures or other types of outages. Another benefit of cloud-native applications is their flexibility that allows them to be easier to change and provides your organization with the ability to deploy updates much more quickly than you could before. This can help organizations to respond to changes in business requirements and then stay ahead of their competitors. Cloud-native applications can also be deployed more efficiently and with less overhead by using these containers and microservices. This, in turn, helps reduce the cost, especially in large-scale deployments. Unfortunately, there are several disadvantages you need to be aware of when you're using cloud-native applications. This includes their complexity, their security issues, and the skill required to develop and deploy these cloud-native applications that you're going to have to have inside your organization. Now, cloud-native applications can be complex, especially when you compare them to a traditional application. This can make it difficult for organizations to manage and maintain them more effectively. These applications are also vulnerable to security threats, such as data breaches and malware. This makes it important that organizations have robust security measures in place to protect their applications and data that's being accessed and used as part of these microservices and containers. Also, developing and deploying cloud-native applications requires a much different skill set than the traditional application development uses. This can make it more difficult for organizations to find the talent they need to build and deploy these cloud-native applications most effectively. So, what does a cloud-native application actually look like? Well, chances are you've already been using some cloud-native applications and you didn't even know it. For example, the video streaming service Netflix actually uses cloud-native applications to deliver their content to millions and millions of end users each and every day. Netflix chose to use a microservice architecture to break down its entire monolithic application into these smaller, independent services that are deployed and managed separately. This allows Netflix to quickly scale up its infrastructure as needed to meet changes in demand and ensures that its applications remain responsive and available to all of its users, regardless of where they're located. Additionally, Netflix uses containers to package and deploy its applications, which helps to reduce the overhead associated with deploying and managing its own infrastructure. Now, you may be wondering, how are these cloud applications actually managed on a daily basis? Well, 
your organization's cloud native applications should be managed by your development and operations teams who are going to work together to ensure that these applications are being deployed and that they're running effectively. This typically involves the use of DevOps practices, which are designed to improve collaboration between the development or dev part and the operations or ops parts of the DevOps process. Now, DevOps is a culture, a mindset, and a set of practices that are designed to help organizations to deliver higher quality software faster and more efficiently. DevOps is based on the three principles of continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment, and also emphasizes collaboration, automation, and experimentation. In the context of cloud native applications, DevOps can really help to ensure the applications are being deployed and managed in a way that is both efficient and effective. For example, by automating the deployment process, organizations can reduce the time and effort required to deploy updates and changes to their applications. Additionally, by using continuous integration and continuous delivery, organizations can ensure that their applications are being updated and deployed quickly and efficiently without sacrificing quality or stability. Now, cloud-native applications require DevOps because they are designed to be scalable, resilient, and flexible. And to take advantage of the elasticity and scalability of the cloud, you need to have all these things in place. DevOps provides us with the framework for collaboration between the development and operations teams, as well as a set of practices that are designed to improve the speed, efficiency, and reliability of the software being delivered. By using DevOps, organizations can ensure that their cloud-native applications are being deployed in a way that meets their business requirements and takes full advantage of all the benefits of the cloud. So remember, when it comes to cloud-native applications, these applications are a new way of building and deploying software that's going to leverage cloud computing infrastructure and principles. They're being designed to be scalable, resilient, and flexible, and they're typically going to be built using containers and microservices. By using these cloud-native applications, your organization can take advantage of the elasticity and scalability of the cloud, as well as the ability to deploy and manage their applications more efficiently and effectively. To do this effectively, however, your organization does need to be using DevOps practices, which are designed to improve the collaboration between development and operations teams and ensure that the applications are being deployed and managed in a way that meets the organization's specific business requirements.